JoJo, Devontae Swing, Mr. Dalvin, and KC came into the 90s as a new R&B quartet called Jodeci and released their debut album, Forever My Lady, on May 28, 1991. The classic album helped shift the sound of R&B and inspired other acts. It set the tone for the decade and became one of the most influential R&B albums ever. Forever My Lady is a mix of New Jack Swing, Hip Hop Soul with some gospel influence, and a lot of... But before Forever My Lady, before we heard KC's signature, the group's lead singers, brothers Cedric and Joel Haley, better known as KC and JoJo, were part of their family's gospel group with KC being their lead singer. The Charlotte, North Carolina-based gospel family was called Little Cedric and the Haley Singers, and they released three albums in the mid-80s. The first album, I'm All Right Now, in 83, the sophomore album, Jesus Saves, in 84, and then their third album titled, God's Blessings, in 85. Around this time, brothers Donald and Dalvin the Great, who will later be known as Devontae Swing and Mr. Dalvin, were part of their father's gospel group of the great delegation and were also from Charlotte. The two pairs of brothers met as teenagers when Casey was dating the girl who told him he should meet the great brothers. So one day the girl took Devontae Swing and Mr. Dalvin to visit Casey and Jojo at their studio. And what happened next shocked Mr. Dalvin. Casey pulled a gun out on Mr. Dalvin because he thought he was trying to get with his girl. Mr. Dalvin said, man, are you serious? And then explained that his brother's dating her sister. Mr. Dalvin told Devontae Swing that these dudes are crazy and left. Devontae Swing stayed and started to work on music with Casey and JoJo. After a couple of months, Mr. Dalvin got over the incident, returned to the studio, and they formed an R&B group. They called themselves Jodeci, which is an abbreviation of all the group's members' names. Joe for JoJo, D for The Great, and C for KC. Casey and JoJo would become the lead singers. Devontae Swing would handle the songwriting and production, and Mr. Dalvin would contribute with background singing, production, and rapping. The newly formed group made a 29-song demo and drove to New York City looking for a record deal. When they arrived in New York, they looked up the address of Uptown Records in the phone book and drove there without an appointment. After a failed audition, Uptown CEO Andre Harrell listened to the demo and signed them that day. In 1990, Uptown Records wasn't just any record company. They were one of the biggest hip-hop and R&B labels, with acts like Heavy D and the Boys, I'll Be Sure, Christopher Williams, and Guy to name a few. That year, the label's new rapper, Father MC, featured Jodeci on his hit single called Treat Them Like They Want To Be Treated. The music video for the song was when the world first heard and saw Jodeci. In the video, you'll notice a young Puffy, all in the video, dancing. And there's a funny part towards the end where you will see Devontae Swing singing, but it's actually it's JoJo's vocals. And then in 1991, Jodeci dropped their debut album, Forever My Lady. All the songs were written and produced by Devante, and most of them were originally on their demo. When they started to work on the album, label mates I'll Be Sure worked with them to help polish the production and assistant songwriting on a couple of their ballads. As great as this album is, there is one issue I have with it, but I'll talk about that later. The first single, Gotta Love, is a New Jack Swing style track that made a small dent on the R&B charts, reaching number 79. Now I must acknowledge that the up-tempo songs are slept on because this album is known for its ballads. But my favorite tempo song is X's We Share. But My Phone and Treat You are also underrated. And now we get into the title track, Forever My Lady, the second single, which separated Jodeci from everyone else. This is one of my favorite songs. The lyrics, the production, and of course the made this a quintessential Jodeci song. It was planned to be an interlude for the album, but it was made into a full song. This soul ballad shows the love and appreciation a man have for his woman, who is having his baby, and how their dreams are now a reality. The song was co-written by I'll Be Sure, and he wrote the first line, So You're Having My Baby, which was inspired by his pregnant girlfriend at the time, Kim Porter. Kim said, I remember they were working on the song, and they couldn't come up with the lyrics, and Al looked at me and said, So You're Having My Baby. That line was initially an issue for the label because Uptown didn't want to send a message of young men having kids. KC didn't want to sing it, and Devontae hated it, but obviously, they kept it. 
According to Mr. Dalvin, the first version sounded just like Peace of My Love by God, but Jodeci kept remaking the song until the label approved it. Uptown wanted Jodeci to have their own sound and be different from God. Forever My Lady would become the first number one R&B hit. The next song, Stay, also had different versions. Devontae didn't want the first version, so he gave it to Albie Shore. That version of Stay is called Touch You on Albie Shore's Private Times and the Whole Nine album. Devontae got his brother, Mr. Dalvin, to change the production and create the new version we now know as Stay. Stay is another favorite of mine. I like that JoJo got to shine on this song. Stay will become the second number one song. At this point, the JoJo C couldn't miss because Come and Talk to Me will be the third straight number one single. This is the first song Devontae wrote for the album. There are a few remixes of this song and all of them are good, but the album version is my favorite. So remember when I said there is something about this album that I don't like? Now let me explain. It's not so much the album, but how the last single, I'm Still Waiting, was promoted. I'm Still Waiting is my all-time favorite Jodeci song. So what I don't like is that there are no visuals for the song because they use the remix version for the music video, which means they're likely never going to perform the original version live in concert. Don't get me wrong, the remix is good, but the original is special. It's such a heartfelt song, and you can hear the conviction in Casey's voice. My favorite part is the interpolation of commissions running back to you. Devontae is a genius. If you want me to make a video about the creative genius that Devontae is, including his swing mob days, let me know in the comments. I'm still waiting to peak that number 10 on the R&B Billboard chart. I can't talk about this album without mentioning the deep cuts You and I. And what's funny, Uptown didn't want the song for the album. The song is so good, this really could have been another single. KC sings lead throughout the album. But on You and I, Jojo took lead and held his own. And Devontae created another masterpiece. Unlike many of the other R&B albums of the 90s, Forever My Lady isn't about making love. It's about wanting to be in love. Take the song, Forever My Lady. It's about a man wanting to make his relationship last forever as he starts his family. On Come and Talk to Me. A man has a crush on a woman that he can't stop thinking about, but he's too shy to approach her. Mr. Dalvin said that Devontae's high school girlfriend was the inspiration for the album as she left him after high school. And because of that, we got songs like Stay, where he wants her to stay so they can work out their relationship. And when we get to I'm Still Waiting, she's gone but he's waiting for her to come back with arms wide open. This album became number one on the charts and eventually sold three million copies. Let me know what's your favorite song and do you think this is Jodeci's best album? Thanks for watching.